Hey girl and welcome to my channel, the best place for everyone who would like to know how to buy hack endometriosis naturally. My name is Yola, uh, I was diagnosed with endometriosis 4 that spread to my intestines and lungs and I lived with it for long 20 years. Now I'm 4 year endo free and on the mission to help all of you to buy hack endometriosis so no one has to suffer like I did. And in today's fascinating video we are going to talk about the uh, endometriosis diet uh, research. There is a lot of researches and I don't expect you to be on top of every single research which comes out. You've got the me, so I summed up everything for you. So all you have to do is just sit comfortably and watch this video till the end because it's something what you need to know, really. So I have to say that I don't take any claim for inventing endo diet. I think no one actually did. It's basic anti-inflammatory diet. And of course, we can create our own programs with our own intakes and our own um, our own input to it. But to claim that, you know, uh, endo diet is my invention or whatever is just a big uh, overstatement because it's simple anti-inflammatory diet. Okay, I, I need to make this clear because if you're thinking, okay, I'm going to sign on Yola program and then somebody else got another program with endo diet, maybe I'm going to know something more. Girl, it's all the same with just different inputs. I just have to be very honest and very clear. <laughs> I really have to, but I don't want you to be scammed and or have this stupid fear of missing out or something. It's just all literally the same. This being said, uh, is the endo diet really make a difference, you might think? Hmm. And a lot of researchers uh, ask themselves the same questions, and this is their conclusions. Girls who are consuming trans fats and processed food are more likely to have endometriosis, which is not kind of surprising because we are living in this society uh, with the fast uh, cars and fast food when people don't really take the time to prepare their foods anymore. We are just, you know, relying on uh, uh, fast foods and easy foods like for example ready meals which are considered to be processed food as well so keep this in mind so this research has found higher rates of endometriosis diagnosed amongst women who consume more trans fat trans fat is found predominantly in the fried processed and fast foods so if you're still having a pizza if you're still having the chips and the things please rethink it twice because as you can see, it's contributing to your endometriosis. Another study, red meat uh, means higher chances of endometriosis. Consumption of ham, beef, and other kinds of red meat was uh, connected with considerably higher endometriosis links. And this is the research actually over here, but I have to make something clear. It's not just red meat, it's also a uh, chicken. <laughs> chicken too because the um we are living in strange world when uh mass production uh, is uh, the main concern not our own healthy so uh, the food industry those days is basically feeding those uh, poor animals with a lot of hormones uh, grown hormones as well so they can grow as uh, quickly as possible while maintaining as much body mass as possible so they can sell as much you know meat per kilogram as possible uh, what that means it means that those poor animals are stuffed with hormones and when they diet we are consuming those hormones and the chickens are amongst those who are stuffed with hormones the most so i just have to make this distinction <laughs> uh, another very fascinating study is the study that connects the vitamin D with endometriosis. Apparently, women with the highest concentration of vitamin D had 24% less risk of developing endo than the woman with the lowest concentration of this vitamin. And I've got a question. Does it mean that those girls who are living in the countries where we've got the more sun are less likely to have endo? Drop me comment in the comment section below. Are you from one of those countries? How is your endometriosis rate over there? Because I would assume it's actually makes 
some connection there. I don't know. Another uh, research, gluten means more endopain. One study involving 207 women with endometriosis showed 75% of them had a um, decrease in pain after eliminating gluten from the diet, which is not surprising because, uh, you know, those days and the bread and all this... Uh, like even pastries is not like it used to be, you know, it's considered to be processed food as well with very, very long shelf life. So it seems like, you know, food industry those days, which is really criminal industry, don't really care about our health, care more about profit. So if you didn't eliminate the gluten, please do it now. Another study, here you go, fruits and vegetables consumption and risk of endometriosis. More fruits and veg means less endometriosis risk. Seriously, hardly surprising here as well. Uh, one study specifically looking at how eating fruits and green vegetables affect endometriosis found that the higher intakes were associated with a lower risk of developing endometriosis, which is not surprising because endo is inflammatory illness, which means it grows and it's developing, whereas the chronic inflammation and fruits and vegetables are anti-inflammatory, so they are not contributing to inflammation. That's why. Another study, here you go, a prospective study of day three fat consumption and endometriosis risks means that more good fat means less endometriosis. And if you don't know what is the good fat or the bad fat, please uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to drop you a free uh, checklist with the good oils and bad oils so you know next time when you go shopping. One observa uh, stu observational study found the women who consume more omega-3 fats were 22% less likely to have endometriosis than women who consume the least. Well, 22% is kind of a lot, if you ask me. So if you didn't yet, please uh, add to your diet uh, some good fats. In conclusion, endo diet, which calls uh, anti-inflammatory diet, basically, it's proven to work in women from all over the world. So it's not just, oh, it works for European girls and Americans, but it's not going to work for us in India or for us in Africa or for us in Middle East. No, it really is not the case. It just literally works because, uh, as I mentioned, endo is inflammatory illness and it grows and it spreads and it's, you know, flourish where it's the constant inflammation. So as the conclusion, girls, I know I'm like Jehovah Witness preaching about it day and night, but it's so, so, so important that, you know, the key is to implement an anti-inflammatory diet. If you are new here and if you don't know how to start, check my playlist, the things to avoid and start eliminating them one by one or signed up for a four weeks online course uh, which you can see the link in comment section below uh, it's cost only 35 pounds because i don't want to overcharge for this kind of things you know and it gives you four weeks pattern you know what to implement in four weeks to biohack your endometriosis so it's really really money well invested and well spent if you like this video, please give me a like, give me a subscribe and share it and let it flow in the world so more girls know about it because it's so, so, so important. As always, I love you so much and I'm going to see you very shortly in new video.